This video is part of an algebra course created by Great IT Courses. You can subscribe to the complete course free of cost on udemy.com. You can find the relevant information and links in the description below. Thank you. So in this video we want to talk about factoring expressions with fractional or negative exponents. Now, for example, let's say you have, a, you have an expression or a, or a polynomial like uh, 2x raised to the power 1 by 4. So 2x raised to the power 1 by 4 plus 5x raised to the power 3 fourths. So... Um, this is again the same story you have to you 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 just need to uh, take out uh, factor out anything that, that 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 you can i mean the greatest common factor between these two terms and as far as the coefficients are concerned you cannot you cannot take a uh, you cannot take a two out of five and so there is no greatest common factor between the two coefficients between the two variables you can basically write x raised to the power 3 fourths in terms of x raised to the power 1 fourth because x raised to is x raised to the power 1 fourth is basically uh, smaller than x raised to the power 3 fourths so you can break this down you can break x raised to the power 3 fourths down I can write x raised to the power I can write x raised to the power 3 fourths as x raised to the power 1 fourths into x raised to the power um, some other number and that number when you add it to 1 fourths you get 3 fourths and uh, you already know that uh, a raised to the power m into a raised to the power n is equal to a raised to the power m plus n so you need to remember this and now i'm basically doing the same thing here this is this side of this equation corresponds to this side of this equation equation and so this is now m plus n over here so three fourths is equal to one fourth plus x let's call it whatever the exponent of x here is let's call it x here so then x is basically equal to three fourths and three fourths minus one fourth so this is two fourths which is equal to one half now um, so i can basically Put this over here and write this as x raised to the power 3 fourths is equal to x raised to the power 1 fourth into x raised to the power 1 half. So then I can write this as uh, 2x raised to the power 1 fourth plus 5x raised to the power uh, x raised to the power 3 fourths should be rewritten as this side of this equation over here. So x raised to the power 1 fourth into x raised to the power 1 half. And so now you have a common factor. The greatest common factor here is x raised to the power 1 fourth here and here. And you can take that out. So you can write this as x raised to the power 1 fourth into uh, 2 plus 5 and x raised to the power one half and that is how you uh, basically factor an expression with a for example a fractional exponent now next uh, let's do a few examples here to learn this a little better um, for example let me have a new layer here So 
so. Now example number 8 in the book is 3x into so it's 3x into x plus 2 raised to the power minus 1 thirds plus 4 into x plus 2 raised to the power 2 thirds now um, here you can see that you have a, a common factor x plus 2 and x plus 2 is also is present here as well but the exponent of x plus 2 here is 1 third or minus 1 third of course and the exponent of um, the exponent of uh, um, uh, the exponent of x plus 2 is 2 thirds here so you need to uh, what you can do is basically you can take an x plus 2 raised to the power of one third out of both of these uh, terms of, of this polynomial and so in order to do that you need to write x plus 2 whole raised to the power of 2 thirds in terms of uh, x plus 2 raised to the power of minus 1 thirds so uh, how you're going to do that you need to write this x plus 2 x raised to the power 2 thirds is equal to x plus 2 raised to the power minus 1 thirds into x plus 2 raised to the power let's call it a now uh, as I mentioned bef before, a raised to the power m into a raised to the power n, you know that is a raised to the power m plus n. It's not, it's not a raised to the power m into n. Uh, it's a raised to the power m plus n. There you need to be a little careful. So, so that basically means that uh, a here is equal to or two thirds here is equal to minus one third plus a whatever a is we want to calculate it here so that means that basically a is equal to two thirds plus one third this goes to, to this side of the equation a stays here so a is equal to two thirds plus one thirds. And so a is equal to three thirds, which is equal to one. So the basically a here is equal to one, or I could just uh, delete it and write one here. We don't even have to write it. So uh, you can write this as you can write this as 3x into x plus 2 raised to the power minus 1 third plus 4 into x plus 2 raised to the power x plus x plus 2 raised to the power 2 thirds has to be written this way. So x plus 2 raised to the power minus 1 third into x plus 2. Next, you need to write, to, you can now uh, take an, a factor of x plus 2 raised to the power minus 1 thirds out. So you can write this as x plus 2 um, raised to the power minus 1 thirds into. So here you are, you're going to end up with 3x and here you're going to end up plus here you're going to end up with 4 into x plus 2 and that is basic you can simplify it further you can write this as x plus 2 raised to the power minus 1 thirds into this is 3x plus 4x is 7x 
and this is 4 into 2 is 8. So this is this expression. And that's how you uh, basically do uh, factorize a, an expression with a fractional and also a negative exponent. So next we can do one more exercise, although we don't have much time here left. I would like to do the next example as well, but I'll do it in the next video.